If you love corn on the cob, but don't like husking it and really don't like dealing with that silk, then this is the cooking method for you. It's quick, easy, and the corn is fantastic. Welcome to the salt and pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy method for making corn on the cob and you don't have to husk or deal with that silk. It's so easy. I'm gonna use my six and a half quart Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. Any pressure cooker will work for this. So the first thing we wanna do is get in some liquid and I'm using two cups of just plain water. You don't need to get fancy. I know some people add butter and milk and things like that. For this technique, you just wanna use plain old tap water, two cups of it. Then I have four ears of corn. You can do more ears if you like. You can do as many as will fit in the foodie. And then what you wanna do is take a sharp knife, cut the very tip off, and then cut the end off just to where the corn starts. So we're just cutting that, that little um, stem off of the corn. And then I like to take off about two of the layers. This just helps the corn cook more evenly and quicker and just throw them right in the pot. We're gonna do that for the rest of them. So when you're looking at corn in the grocery store and you wanna pick out really great ears, you wanna look at the kernels and you want them to be in even lines and you want them to be kind of close together, the kernels all close together. This is a gorgeous ear of corn. All of them that I got were just beautiful like that. Another thing that you can tell, and this one is probably a little bit older, but the, uh, the more green and moist the silk is at the end, the fresher the ear of corn. So these have been sitting a while, but they still look really good. So I picked up four of them from the grocery store and now we're gonna cook them up. All right, so let's go ahead and get the pressure lid on. You can see you have plenty of room. So easily eight ears of corn would fit in the Ninja Foodie six and a half quart and more would fit in the larger uh, model. All right, so we're gonna go under pressure we're gonna do pressure on high, and the time is four minutes. Put the valve in the back to the seal, that's very important, and hit the start button. So it's gonna take somewhere around seven to eight minutes for this amount of water to build the steam to put the pot under pressure. We'll pressure cook for four minutes and then we'll do an immediate release. Now, I leave the husks on all the time when I cook corn. And I do it for a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't have to deal with that silk. Wait till you see how easily everything just peels right off. The other reason is because if I'm having a dinner party or an outdoor barbecue, I can pressure cook a dozen ears of corn and leave them in the husk and they will stay hot for a really long time. I mean, at least, at least 35, 40 minutes. And so that gives enough time for the burgers to be made or whatever else you're serving and you still are gonna serve hot ears of corn. All right, so we went under pressure for four minutes. I did an immediate release. Now I can open the lid, and when you do that, always do it away from you. This is gonna be a lot of steam coming out here. And then we can grab our corn out. Now what I like to do if I'm serving it to guests is put little corn holders in right away. These just screw in there. Nice. And then I'll just set them in a thing for people to grab. All right, so I'm gonna let those cool just for a few minutes, and then I will show you the magic as I peel them off and you have a beautifully cooked ear of corn, no silk. And let me show you how easy it is to remove the husk now. So it's still warm, but I can touch it here. Once you pull this back, all of the silk comes straight off, leaving nothing behind. This is the way that I always make my corn. I mean, it is super easy, great to serve it in the husk when you have a party and there's no silk to worry about. It's beautiful.
All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. The corn kernels are perfectly cooked. So they still have a nice bite to them. They're nice and crisp. They're not soggy or overcooked. They pull cleanly from the cob, which is really nice. This is absolutely delicious, super easy to make, great for a crowd. So get your pressure cooker out and pressure cook some corn in the husk. You'll thank me later.